Hey everyone, Prof Sales coming at you with another video and today's video is about my day of sourcing. Yesterday I went and sourced for about 10 hours. I sourced from 10 different Goodwills and primarily bought jeans as you can see. 75 pair of jeans, one puzzle, one board game, one Woolrich shirt. So this video is going to be talking about what that looked like and what I can expect to make and how long it took me to do everything and maybe what you can use in your own business to figure out a better way to help you source. So let's get into it. All right, so now we've covered everything that I bought. So let's talk about the actual numbers and see how it breaks down in terms of how much time it's gonna take me to process all these items as well as what I expect to make off of them to see if my trip was worth it. So first off, it took me 10 hours yesterday. I left the house about 8.10 and got home about 6.15. I hit 10 different stores during that time and drove 170 miles. So definitely a full day of sourcing. I bought a total of 78 items, 75 jeans, one shirt, one game, and one puzzle. How long will it take to photo all those? Well, I know that on average, I photo an item in about five minutes, some a little more, some a little less. So that works out to 390 minutes, which is six and a half hours total to do the photos for those 78 items. How much time will it take me to list? Well, I know that listing takes about three minutes per item on average. So that comes out to 234 minutes or 3.9 hours, which we're gonna round up to four hours. What about packing and shipping? Packing and shipping of each item takes about two minutes on average, so 156 minutes. We're gonna round that up to 2.75 hours. <clears throat> so all told, we have sourcing, photo, listing, packing, and shipping with a total of 23.25 hours to get all these items, get them photographed, get them listed, get them sold, get them packed up, and shipped out the door. So 23.25 hours is basically what I can expect to spend on this. So what will I make? Well, I know that my current average is on jeans. I'm pushing about $9.50 net for my current sales in terms of my discounts that I get off my fees, my shipping costs, which is very low, I know that the shirt that I'm gonna sell should be about $12 net, just looking at the prices of it online. The game about $6 and the puzzle $25. So it comes out to be a net total of $755.50 for those 78 items. So how is that for an hourly rate? Well, now we can just do a simple math calculation to figure out that 755.50 divided by 23.25 is about $32.50 an hour. So, you know, that may be a good rate for you, a bad rate for you. You may have people that are working for you and you have their, their salary has to come out of that, so it may not be that great. Or on the other hand, you may this may be a part-time business for you and you can say, well, I can devote 23 hours once a week to making $755. There's no right or wrong answer to that, but what I would take away from it are three things. One, figure out if it's a good hourly rate or not based on your own situation and what you're looking to do with your business. For me, that's a good hourly rate. I have low expenses right now, so to make $32 an hour net, yes, I will owe taxes and so on, that's true. However, it's still a pretty good rate. And I definitely can do better. I think as I get better at reselling, I'm going to be able to push that rate even higher, especially as I move into more volume. Um, the second thing is to have a plan. I had a plan yesterday. I told myself I mapped out the 10 stores that I was gonna go to. I actually mapped out 11 just in case. I decided not to go to one of them. And I learned a lot about those stores. I put all those stores contact info in my phone. These were all happened to be Goodwills. I saved them um, individually and I put notes in the note field by each store. So I'll know the next time I'm out if I decide if I want to go to a store or not, I know pretty much what to expect. I put notes such as <clears throat> small store, big store, how much inventory it had, what the prices were, 
uh, any other you know specific information about that store was it out of the way did I get good cell phone service there a couple of my didn't yesterday so I couldn't look items up so that was interesting to put in the note field and some of the stores I'm not going to go back to anytime soon because they just weren't worth it I didn't get enough volume out of them I didn't think but I learned something and that was important last but not least know your metrics Know what your hourly rate is. Know what you make per item. Know what's possible. Know what your cost of goods sold is. All these things are important for you to know to be good at your business and to be a better reseller. If you don't know these things, you're flying blind. You don't really know if you're really making any money or not. You don't know how much you're making, when it's coming in, how it's coming in, what's profitable for you, what's not profitable for you. So it helps to know your metrics. Metrics to you may be different than they are to me, doesn't matter. Just know what yours are and how you can use them to be a better reseller. So, I will be planning some more trips. I, I am going to attempt to shoot video as I'm out in these places, but that's always a little tricky for me and I don't find it really that interesting to see just someone roving around a store with a camera. Yeah, it's cool when they find something interesting, but you sometimes have to shoot hours of footage to get five minutes of film that's worth anything. I just don't know that it's enough um, risk reward there for me. So, but I definitely will be doing some more sourcing videos. I'm definitely gonna be doing another run. I'm going to attempt to really get a hundred items in one day. That was my goal yesterday. I just found as I moved into some of these smaller stores I'd never been to before, they did not have the kind of volume of merchandise available for me to get. 100 pair of jeans. It just wasn't possible. But I'm still happy with the 75 I got. I have put that with the ones I already have from last week. So I should have enough to have 100 uh, jeans this week to get listed and get up, which will really help push up my amount of listings I have on eBay and of course my sales. So if this video is helpful to you, please consider hitting the like button or leaving me a comment below or even subscribing to my channel. And until next time, this is Prof Sales saying good sales to you.